Hey there, I'm Nev, I'm a dev, and today I want to talk about some new database tool that just launched. We're talking about AstroDB, of course. Um, AstroDB just launched. Um, I think it's super cool because my favorite or one of my favorite frameworks basically worked together with my favorite database tool and created something very nice. Let's actually find out what AstroDB is, the database platform for content-driven websites. So what that means is basically, again, Astro is a content-driven framework, so not really like a React, but more like HTML. And content-driven basically means not intended for a big scale, um, maybe for an email list or something similar to that. And yeah, what I need to say is that this looks pretty cool. Powered by LibSQL, so the same thing as Terso. Scale with confidence um, and automatically configured. So TypeScript or M with full type safety at the box. Sounds familiar? Well, it's Drizzle. It's free, no credit card required, cancel anytime. Yeah, designed for the Astro ecosystem, global distribution. They only got one plan, which is free. So what do we do to create a project? We got npm create Astro at latest db demo. Nice. Um, we're gonna go with empty. Uh, yes, we want TypeScript, strict install the dependencies. So we want no Git repository in this case, but I made like a little playground. If you want to check it out, it's linked down in the description. We now have this and we gotta go code db demo. We're now here in our uh, little demo right here. We can run npm run dev. Because of style things, I'm gonna npx astro and uh, tailwind CSS, which will go ahead and install the tailwind plugin for astro. Like, basically, there's no config needed. I really like that. The astro add is very powerful. And now, if we go back, we see it's automatically styled with tailwind. Very nice. Good. So now we can npx astro and db. And this is really insane. So, yes, installing dependencies. This has a lot of dependencies like Drizzle and all that shit, so it should take a little while. Mm, yep, we want uh, these files. Good. So, success, perfect. Uh, no new local database detected. So now we can actually go into the DB, into the config, and we got this table. So what we can do now is Go ahead and uh, define table. And now we have const, um, I don't know what to do, is define table, no columns, right here. And ID, I don't know, it's column, nope, not confirm, oh. column dot, oops, let's auto import that, column dot, um, in this case, it's a number. And in here, and then we got name, or let's say title, column.text, and then completed, completed is column.boolean, uh, that we don't need, perfect. And now we can go ahead and run to do, put that in here, and in seed we can go ahead and do db dot insert um, dot where no where is it db dot insert and then we have to do um, dot values uh, let's go ahead and make an array yep uh, and that Let's go make that true. Let's go ahead and edit this video and be cool right here. So, and now we have basically populated our database. And if we now go into this one in the index, we can go ahead and run import db from astro db and to do. And now we can run const to do's is equal to await db dot select um, to do and wait what it's actually going to the docs right um, documentation 
Astro DB. By the way, they have excellent dogs. So um, I am looking for the select, which is here. Um, select uh, db.select.from. Okay. Uh, because um, one downside is they don't support Drizzle's um, query API. They only support select, which I find a bit of a shame, but I guess I can live with it. And then we have to-dos. And then we have to-dos.map um, like this to-do. Uh, bam. And then return we're gonna return a little div, div, whoops. And in this div, what? And in this div we got, um, yeah, why not? And then we don't got a description, but we gotta go ahead and do to do dot um, completed. And in here, we gotta go with to do that ID. Bam. Let's see what we've got. Nothing. Await. Oh, okay. We need to await this. Await db.insert. Nice. Now we got all these things uh, right here. Um, we don't need to console log them anymore. Yeah, looks <laughs> a bit uh, not so cool. Let's actually make this a string. Whoops. Cool. Um, yeah, so let's give this a little bit of a padding and give this margin for as well. So yeah, this is basically a little demo showcase of um, the Astro DB. This is, this is currently all we can do with our database. We can, of course, also extend this with um, post requests and server actions or like just actions, I guess. And yeah, uh, very cool. I think Astro DB is very nice to do maybe a little auth in your content page or something like that, because you can do it with Lucia and that is very cool. Um, but for maybe large scale projects, it doesn't really make sense to use Astro DB, not because of the poor performance of your app, but maybe more of the because of the performance of the database, because you also can connect this with a Drizzle, uh, with an Astro Studio instance, which I'm gonna show you right now, because they now have Astro Studio. And if we quickly authenticate, I got this little project here, which is currently empty, but yeah, I haven't really played around with that yet, but maybe I will do in the near future. But this is that. So this is the new Astro DB. I hope you like it. I hope you like this video. If so, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and we'll see us on, um, I think, on Sunday. Yeah, have a good one. Bye.